All right, guys, today's video is about how I shave my head. Now, I've been doing this for about 17 years, give or take. So I've got a lot of experience. I've made a lot of mistakes, um, but I've also benefited tremendously from a few tips I've been given along the way. Over the years, I've also shared these tips with guys. I've actually made a YouTube video or two about it, but I'll tell you again in case you haven't seen those videos. And I can say with absolute certainty that uh, this does work for most guys, if not all, across the board, because I literally, have, over the years, I've literally had hundreds of men come back and tell me, Greg, this works exactly as you say it does. Now, I'm going to show you how you can mitigate uh, sores, rashes, scrapes, and cuts. Um, and it's not going to take an application of three, four, five things to your skin by the time the process is over with. I think it's oftentimes overcomplicated. I'm going to show you how it's, it can be uh, done in the most simple way. And it won't take a lot. Okay? So there's a lot of reasons why guys might want to shave their head. I'll give you just a few. Uh, one is your hair might be receding. It might be thinning. You might be realizing that um, you have more head than you have hair. And you might as well just go with the rest of it. It's not a bad choice to make. But a lot of guys are afraid to take that plunge because they feel like... Uh, they, they, they feel their scalp and they, they feel these divots, you know, these dips and these big bumps. And they think, well, that's how my head is going to look. Chances are, that's not at all how your head is going to look. It's look, going to look a lot more round or, you know, um, uniform than what you might expect. Okay. Here's the thing. Even if you're worried about that, you can shave your head. If you don't like it, put a hat on. Your hair will grow back and it doesn't take that long. So that's all, that's all you need to know about that, okay? The other reason guys might shave their head is uh, because it's a cool look, you know? Or you might want something different than what you've ever had before. You might be getting tired of bad haircuts like I was. I was actually talked into this by my wife who thought shaved heads were sexy. It took some encouraging, but I finally did it, took the plunge, and I never looked back. All right, so here's, here's all you have to do. I, let, me, let me also tell you this. Let me give you this little tip before I start. If you have, let's say a full head of hair, and you're worried about what your scalp's going to look like when you shave your head, trust me, when, I don't care what, where your hair growth is at, when you shave your head, there is going to be a different color on top here than the rest of your face. Your face is used to getting sun, okay? I remember when I first did that, this was pretty white, or at least that's what it seems like to me. I got laughed at quite a bit when I went back to work, and all I did was laugh with them, and that's probably the best thing you can do. But what I would tell you is if you're patient enough, I would say buzz your, if you got a full head of hair or wherever your hair growth is at, buzz it down pretty far and let it, let your skin get some uh, sun exposure and to kind of blend in the color just a little bit. It will help some. You don't have to do it, but it is something you might want to consider. Okay. Now here's all you're going to need. I use a disposable razor. I don't use any kind of special razor on my head. I don't use anything really cheap. Okay, I use a nice Harry's razor. I've talked about I've talked about this quite a bit. It's got five blades on it. Even has a, top, a blade on the top that I'm not going to use for my for my head at all. But there's five blades right here. These are really nice. You can get them at Target, Walmart, probably Walgreens. I don't know. Uh, also, you're just, just going to need a good bottle of conditioner. Okay, my wife always has OGX sitting around. I, I like OGX a lot. Uh, they're actually based out of Clearwater, Florida, which is right down the road from me, maybe about 30 or 40 miles. But uh, use a good conditioner. Don't use anything real cheap like Pantene. I don't suggest that. That's almost like applying water. Um, but uh, I, OGX makes a lot of different good ones. I like their tea tree um, uh, conditioner. It comes in a green bottle like this. But uh, it's, it's a nice conditioner. So that's what you're going to need is a good razor and, and, um, and a good conditioner. So what you want to do is you just want to, once you've buzzed your hair down, if you've got a full head of hair, once you've buzzed down as far as you can get it, okay, then you're going to take some hot water and apply it to the top of your head. And I don't spend any time like trying to open up the pores. You know, you could. It might help. But listen, I shave my head maybe twice a week, okay? I do let it grow. You see the stubble? I do let it get to like that because... To be honest with you, and this is another good tip, guys, to be honest with you, um, it's actually easier to shave your head where there's stubble growing out. Don't get into the habit of shaving your head every day. And I wouldn't even suggest every other day. I would say at least put three days in between a shave. 
Uh, I only shave like twice a week, sometimes only once a week, and it takes me about 10 minutes, okay? So there you go. I'm, I'm trying to apply hot water here. Okay, now, now that my head's all wet, I take my conditioner, I put a dab of it in my hand, in my palm. Let's see if I can, there you go. Of course, you don't need much. I mean, you're not putting your hair, trying to distribute it that way. Just rub around your palm, apply it to your head. I don't like shaving cream because shaving cream will cause skin problems. I don't think it's that good for your skin. It will cover up lines. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to use shaving cream when they're shaving because they can see where the, the razor has run. You don't really need it. And and shaving cream will be, in my, in my personal estimation, is one of your biggest enemies uh, in, uh, when it comes to having sores, rashes, and cuts. All right. The reason why I use conditioner is because conditioner is a moisturizer. It's good for your skin. Uh, the, the, the razor will glide easily over your skin. All right. It moisturizes it. Um, you'll get a much closer shave than you would with shaving cream. And because it's moisturizing, you will not get the rashes and the sores. And, and if you're careful with your razor, you won't get the cuts. All right. So I always shave with the grain initially. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm also going to look in the mirror at the same time that I'm doing this. So just try to be patient with me and try to grasp what I'm doing. This is nothing really difficult if you're used to shaving at all. It's pretty forward, straightforward. So I'm going to start off on the side here. I don't start off on the top yet. You could, but it's not a big deal. I'll make... I'll make like one pass all the way around. Because I have a beard, I'm stopping at my sideburns. So I'm just making a pass or two um, on each new strip. Let's go around to the back. And you might be saying to yourself, I don't see you rinsing that out. Well, I am now, but you know, if you're only making one pass, you know, down each strip, then you're not really going to need to wash out your, your blade like every time you do that. You know, I just, you might have to just fill it out for yourself. But uh, now I'll do this side. I always pull my ear down right here and, be, and always be careful to get right behind your ear like this. A lot of guys miss that part. So get that, try to run all the way down to the back of your neck. Cause you get, sometimes I still miss hair way down here. Anyway, I'm gonna continue. Just taking one swipe down each strip. Okay. So I pretty much done the side and the back. I'm gonna do the top. I'm still shaving with the grain. But when you're when you're when you've only got stubble like this and it's this short, you don't have to rinse as often. Okay? Now I'm just gonna kind of run it across the side horizontally. I'm not gonna get too complicated with it. Rinse my razor out. Now what I suggest doing to you is rinsing your head off with hot water and then reapplying the conditioner. Okay, now my head's wet again. Rinse all rinse. I'm gonna apply the conditioner again. I don't know if I can get this out. All right. This is where the, the shave gets really close. So I apply it again, real quick. All right, I tried to hold the razor with a dry hand, because once you've had conditioner in your hand and you try to pick up your razor, it's easy to lose your grasp of it. All right, I'm gonna start up here by my sideburns. Here, I'm gonna put my finger here so I don't cut into it. Some of you guys, won't, this won't be an issue with you if you don't have a beard. So I'll just make a couple passes here. I, I pull the ear down, get right here. 
you get behind the ear. Okay. Then I'll just, I'm not going to get real involved. In a previous video I made, I did more sweeps uh, across my head, and it took me much longer to make the video. And, um, but I'm not trying to get the closest shave possible yet. I'm just seeing what my, my razor will pick up, up on, uh, I'm just first going over it. All right, I'm gonna continue around the back. Behind this ear. Top of the ear. And I know, I've, I've watched my videos back before, I know that I miss some spots when I'm trying to show you guys, but I always get them eventually. So now what I'm gonna do is get the top, I'm just gonna go over it just briefly. And if you think I'm moving my razor fast, it's only because I'm used to this. And also remember, it's because I'm, I, I've also, I've got conditioner in it and it makes for an easy glide, all right? You just don't wanna press down your razor too hard. Another thing I want to tell you guys is this. I find out that I get a better shave with a razor that's slightly used rather than a brand new one. Uh, I'm also more likely to cut myself with a brand new razor because it's so sharp. But I mean, you can, I mean, I don't hardly ever do that. It'd be like a once in a blue moon. I might do that. So now what I'm going to do is I get the whole thing, the whole thing pretty much covered. I'll go back. And I'll use my hand to kind of feel around for the, for the parts that still feel a little rough. That's why you see me sweeping my hand first and then my razor following. I'm just using my hand to detect, my this hand to detect where I need to touch up. And that's basically all this is right here, is just touching up. And even though I've shaved most of the conditioner off, all you have to do, or you don't want to reapply at this point, is get your hand wet and it will reactivate the, the, the uh, conditioner is still on your head. All right, I can feel spots back here. And every guy is gonna have different problem areas. Every guy's gonna have different problem areas on his head. Mine is right here, right across the top right here. I have to shave this way and that. But she, you, you, get, you just have to get well acquainted with the way your hair grows on your head and then just learn. Another thing I will tell you, another tip, is don't become obsessed with getting such a close shave. I hear about guys saying they want their head to be so uh, closely shaved that it shines like, like it like a light, you don't, I, you don't want that. First of all, it's hard to take good pictures with that. Second of all, it looks weird. If your head is shining bright as a bulb, it looks weird. And, um, and I don't understand the obsession with having such a super close shave because within 12 to 24 hours, you're gonna start feeling some stubble again anyway. I mean, normally, it's what most men do. So. I would say don't don't become so obsessed about it. Just make sure it's shaved down. And with if you're using conditioner, you'll get a closer shave than you realize. That you might think you'll get a closer shave than you would with shaving cream. So here I am. I've touched up. I can still feel just a few little patches. You know, not a big deal. And um, but my head is not going to get any sores, any rashes. And the thing is, if you're not used to shaving your head, you need to use conditioner, like I'm telling you. And the reason why is because, um, you know, besides all the other reasons I've given you, is that your, your skin, your head's not used to that blade yet. So that's, that's another good reason not to use shaving cream. I don't use shaving cream at all. Even if I was to shave my face, I still use conditioner. 
in the, in the beard neckline, which I have a video coming out about. So now I've gotten, I was just doing the touch-ups. This is another problem area for me right back here. Just because the way my skull is shaped. But I think I got that. Okay, so, you know, normally when I'm not talking, I'm not talking to you guys, uh, it, it only takes me like 10 minutes to do this. Okay? Only about 10 minutes. And I do it maybe twice a week. Sometimes only once. Not a huge sacrifice. You know what? I never spend money on bad haircuts anymore. It does help with a more youthful appearance as you get to be older, I will tell you. I thought about growing my hair back once or twice, and my wife told me I'd probably look a lot, she probably, she told me I'd probably look my age if I did that. So there you go. It's really smooth. I mean, it's amazingly smooth. And, um, and it's really hard to stop touching it once you've shaved it. And I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay. I've rinsed it off, I'm gonna dry it. Now here's what I want to tell you. And generally after you get done shaving, you apply aftershave, right? Or some kind of skin moisturizer. You can do that. And I, and I oftentimes do because I just like using products. I like what they smell. Um, but if you use conditioner on your head to shave and you forget to apply anything else, you're going to be fine because your skin is still moisturized. Okay? So... You can use any number of products you want to. It's not absolutely necessary. Your skin's gonna be fine the rest of the day. Will not, your skin will not be dry. If you were using Aftershave, you might start getting dry skin up here. You could start, uh, you know, getting a little weird. But um, with, with, with moisturizer, that's not gonna happen. One of my favorite products, and it's not a beard product at all. It's 1821 Man Made. It's a, it's a really good product. They make good body wash. It's my favorite body wash. But they also make this um, this uh, skin lotion, like post shave, pre shave, and it smells like uh, spiced tobacco. And I got this. My wife. I went in into Ulta with my wife, picked this up. So I, I got about that much in my hand, and this stuff smells great. So you can use any number of products. But uh, I like this a lot. I like this. I like the smell of spiced tobacco. And my head looks great now. Nice and smooth. I won't have to touch it again for another four days or maybe seven. That's how I do it, guys. I told you it was simple. And um, you can avoid all the other steps that, that a lot of other guys are going to take you through. They're going to say, now apply this, then apply the other thing. And on top of that, you need to do that. It's just too much. And it's unnecessary. Um, but I've been, like I said, I've been doing this for 17 years, give or take, and I no longer have any problems with any kind of sores, rashes, cuts, or scrapes, and you're going to get the same results. All right. So let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. Please like this video and subscribe. And uh, I'll pretty soon I'll be, uh, I'll be releasing a video on the, uh, how to trim the beard neckline. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.